Hello, everybody, and welcome to another podcast edition. Martino Pucci along with Gio Cozzolino. Hello, I guys. I think that's how it is. Right? Is that how yep, it's pronounced? Yeah, Cozzolino. Cozzolino. Okay, I got it right. I should anyways. Okay, yesterday, Super Bowl 51, probably the greatest Super Bowl ever played. Um, big, biggest comeback of all time mm-hmm. prior to last night. Um, the biggest comeback um, point comeback ever in Super Bowl history was 10 points. Uh, in which the Pats came back against the Seahawks. That was right. one of them. Uh, Redskins against the uh, John Elway's Broncos a while ago, and then there was one other one that is, is escaping my mind right now. But anyways, Falcons were up 28-3 to in this game. Yeah. Did they blow it, or did the Patriots come back? I don't know. It's a little bit of both, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it's it's hard for me not to be biased at times because I'm a Jets fan. Jets fan, so. yep. It, you know, you don't want to give all the credit to Brady, but you have to give it to not not just Brady, the whole team. Um, mm-hmm. Twenty eight three, though, you have to say it's partially partially a meltdown, because there's no mm-hmm. there's no way that you can say, um, you know, the Patriots' experience didn't help them. The experience that they have, the veterans that they have, that helps them a lot, especially in this type of situation. Brady's like, you know, we're not down and out. We're gonna come back. Mm-mm. And then, no, nope. no, Matt Ryan, with with his inexperienced guys, they're up twenty eight three and. They're kind of relaxing, I guess. I don't know how to say, you can say relaxing, but um, can, can maybe they, maybe the they times, did you know? get a little too comfortable. But I think I think the the scary thing is for the NFL is that the Patriots weren't at their best, but yet they still, still won. Win, yeah. This is an ultimate god mode situation, and it's similar to what LeBron had to experience when That's a good way to put it, god when mode. when when they played Golden State this past uh, fine NBA Finals mm-hmm. when they came back from 3-1. All odds are against them, and yet they still found a way to win and come back. And it's the greatest, it was the greatest comeback in NBA history that's not even up for discussion. Right. This is the greatest Super Bowl comeback in, NF- in NFL history, obviously. And and you know what? The Patriots are probably going to be better next year because if they trade Jimmy Garoppolo, then they're going to get a couple first-rounders or whatever they're going right, to get reportedly getting. They have the Jamie Collins pick up for grab. They, they're they going to have money to spend, somewhat money. I know New England doesn't usually do that. But they're going to they're gonna be improving next Absolutely. year. And as for the Falcons, I don't know how you could recover from that. It's a tough blow to handle, and they're losing Kyle it's Shanahan as they're well. Gonna, it, absolutely, especially with his with his mm-hmm. abilities, he can be a head coach anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, Quinn's done a great job with the team. But you're right; you can't really stop pieces from from lo- you know you can't stop yourself from losing pieces. And like you said, no New England. I was just thinking in my head, no Gronk. They went a nope. whole playoff run with mm-hmm. with Bennett. With, I'm not taking anything away from Bennett. He's he's mm-hmm. a great tight end. You know, he's a solid tight end. They didn't even run but the he, ball well either. They didn't run the belt, bo- ball well. Tight ends is a big part of their game. Mm-hmm. Didn't really find him that much. But Edelman's unstoppable. Amendola came alive yesterday. When and Julian most. Edelman had probably top five catch all right. time in and the they, history oh, of the sport. Oh, absolutely. I, I said it right away. It's like another Tyree catch, just Patriot style. So Pers- exactly personally, personally was. for me, well, even Julio Jones catch too. Oh, he made even more just than before one. that. That was yeah, his um shoestring catches on the on the sideline are just incredible. And and you think it was going to happen again when Julio made that catch, but it was kind of a repeat of the Seattle game when when Kyrus had that crazy catch at the sideline. Yep. But I think it was more so the play calling. They didn't the Falcons didn't really run the ball at the end of the half. Devontae Freeman was absolutely yeah, destroying, destroying the over. Patriots. Absolutely. And and it was it was really confusing to watch too. Even Matt Ryan on his fumble, he should have just taken the sack there. I don't know why he was trying to throw the even, ball. Even he put him in a worse situation there. Exactly. Even after that, when Jones set them up with that great catch, they went backwards from mm-hmm. because they didn't run the ball. All you had to do it was run it, mm-hmm. not even for more yardage. Just get it to was, that fourth down, hit the field goal. Yeah, it was worst case scenario in that situation when they had a punt aside from a turnover. Absolutely. Obviously, a turnover is the worst case scenario any time you're on offense. Pick six being it or fumble taking it back for exactly. six but the fact that they weren't even able to get a field goal off to even put them further ahead was just a complete disaster and and I don't know how the Atlanta Falcons are going to recover from this I know they were a good team this year and the amount of times their offensive line was ju- I mean I'm sorry excuse me the Patriots offensive line was playing awful all game yeah they were and the Falcons were getting rush, were getting to Tom Brady putting him on the ground Brady was out of sync he wasn't hitting his targets um throughout the first half and 
everything prior to the game, if you were to tell a bunch of Patriots fans or any fan at all, hey, the Falcons would hit Brady this many times, they would have a pick six yeah, against no Brady, way. they'd be up three scores at the end of the first half, but they would still lose. Yeah, the, it's just miracle. Crazy. And and now it really puts Brady ahead of everyone else from any quarterback of all I time. Agree. It's I, not I can't it's even not even close. I don't think you, you I don't think it's close anymore. You can't deny it. He's just I think he surpassed Montana by now and just it's just what else do you want him to do? Five There's Super Bowls, nothing. four MVPs. Four MVPs. Four MVPs. Been there seven times. Him like and you Belichick. said before, didn't play his best, still won the Super Bowl, and still got the MVP. He has many, as many Super Bowl titles as the Dallas Cowboys do, as an entire franchise. Tam, yeah. Tom Brady by himself, he has more fran- he has more Super Bowl wins than the New York Giants as an organization, which they yeah, have four. He has more than still many the teams. only team to knock off uh, Brady and Belichick. Twice. twice took two incredible throws to do that the games always go down to the wire for the patriots in the super bowl i i really just don't i i think they could win it next year too i don't see how they're getting any worse no they're gonna get better you said it already early in the show there's no way they're getting they're, they're getting worse and this and brady no brady plans to play for another three to five years i don't really yeah, I read see a report. that slow, they're gonna give him and belichick down. another extension mm-hmm. after their both their contracts and again he's gonna play well mm-hmm. into his early 40s if anything but he doesn't go down. He doesn't get injured. There's nothing wrong with him. He's, nope. He he gets hit, but he does. He gets right he back was, up. He was getting hit yesterday, and he was out of sync. You could tell it was getting Absolutely. to him. But there was just something about Tom. And there's always been something about Tom Brady because we're Jets fans, and we see it twice a year all the time. The guy is never down in the count. He's never out. And it was the same thing. You could see it again. Um, and that's why when the Jets went into Foxborough a couple years ago and they beat them, um, the second time they went to the AFC Championship game, it, when, during that game in New England, it never felt safe. Even though the Jets Absolutely were up two not. touchdowns, it just still felt like the Patriots were going to come can back. Happen. When I when it was twenty eight ten, I said it. Mm-hmm. I I said it, and I'm not saying like I know everything. I said it right that right there and then. They're mm-hmm. tying this game. I just knew it was going to happen. You 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 saw it happening, and and you're not really surprised by it. And the fact that we're not as surprised by it as we should be just shows how amazing the New Absolutely. England Patriots are, how amazing reputation. Tom Brady is, how amazing Bill Belichick is, even Josh McDaniels, Matt Patricia. Say, say what you want. Yeah, it's their and, reputation just amazing. You can't incredible. say anything more. They're up there with the, the Yankees in the 20s, the Yankees in the late 90s, the Boston Celtics when they were winning all those championships, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could even give it to the San Antonio Spurs over the course of time, Showtime Lakers. Whatever you want to do, they might end up going down as the best franchise in the history of American sports, this dynasty right here. And I think you can say that considering all the aspects in terms of salary cap era, um, just even keeping a head coach around that long, even a mm-hmm. quarterback who's able to stay that healthy. The revolving doors of wide receivers, It's, I mean, he had Randy Moss at one point, but that's about it. Besides Gronk, how many Hall of Fame Offensive yeah, players. That was a late Randy Moss just, as well. Yep, and so. just Gronk too. That's it. He's got Edelman, Welker, Deion Branch, all these guys tossing around. Even like Aaron Hernandez after after he was gone after that whole case. They just it's just next guy up in New England, and, and pres- that's the amazing. That brings thing up the example them. I just want to mention real quick. Chris Hogan. Okay, mm-hmm. this guy in college didn't really play much. Nope. He he goes to the Bills. Like gets, one year at Mama. gets released right the, mm-hmm. from the Bills, and he comes to New England mm-hmm. and he turns in, into this great receiver that can yep. make a big play. So he had what did he have a game in the playoffs? I think two. He had two, two touchdowns. I think he yeah, had two it, touchdowns like against the Pittsburgh Steelers. One hundred eighty yards. He was just he was like just that. fantastic. And and if it's one thing I've learned from a friend of mine who I I trust in terms of his football knowledge, there's no such thing as being in the doghouse with Bill mm-hmm. Belichick. You're just not in his game plan that week. The game plan's forever changing, and that's why it was so incredible. Incredible when the Giants beat them That's both why times. They're, they're effective. The fact that the Giants were able to knock off the Pats that one time, that was the greatest football team I have ever seen, and probably the greatest team, aside from the Warriors this past year, to not win the championship. I agree. And and it's incredible. And the fact that Brady has a chance to go for six. And who know who knows how many more they could they could actually win? Super Bowls are very difficult to win. I mean, you can never know what's going to happen in terms of football injuries. It's just it could it could be very and scary. Even then, though, you you just... don't even know if Gronk's going to come back. Right, right. But at the end of the day, I think Brady is by far yeah. the best football player I have ever seen. The fact that we even thought it was a discussion to this point a year ago is actually insane. And and I think he just totally puts himself in a separate category. It's just Brady and then whoever the, whoever right. the heck you else want to put 
below him. You have to respect him, no matter what team fan you mm-hmm. are. Even, even we're both Jets fans. So let's mm-hmm. put it out. But you have to respect the man. I, I'll respect him. I'll never First root for, I'll never, I'll never root for the Patriots ever in my life. But Tom Brady, New England Patriots, greatest franchise Hands dynasty down. in NFL history, and they could probably win more. Who knows what's what it's going to be like when it's all said and done? But five championships says a lot. That's. Five championships by himself. Only one franchise has more than that, and that's the Pittsburgh Steelers have six NFL right. Super Bowls. They have so plenty, ex- plenty more from other teams. Look, they mm-hmm. have plenty of teams don't have mm-hmm. one or not. Y- There's zero. some teams that have never even been there, and and they're already quintupled that amount. With mm-hmm. five. And and it's fantastic, and and there probably won't be any end in sight. Really, probably in the next three to five years, it won't be ending. So, I mean, that'll wrap it up. Tom Brady, New England Patriots, greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. Might be the greatest game in Super Bowl history. Tom Brady, greatest player to ever play. Bill Belichick, who knows? Maybe they might ch- – they got to they gotta end up changing Coach of the Year Award to the Bill Belichick Award. I don't I, – I, re- I really mean that, and that's not an overreaction. I don't think you should change the name of the Lombardi Trophy to the Belichick Trophy. Yeah, I, say, I say you keep it the Lombardi Trophy, but – Belichick has to get a trophy named after himself. Even Tom Brady, you might have to rename the, the MVP, Eventually. the Super Bowl MVP trophy to the Tom Brady trophy. They are that great. No matter if you're a Jets fan, Dolphins fan, Bills fan, Giants fan, Cowboys fan, whatever fan you are, you have to respect the greatness of Tom Brady and the New England Patriots because they are the greatest franchise and dynasty that has ever come across the NFL, and I don't think we will ever see it again, ever. Turn up side better. Not not for the next twenty to thirty years at least. So that'll that'll wrap it up. I'm Martino Puccio, Gio Cozzolino. We'll be back for more soccer stuff for our podcasts around the time. But Tom Brady, New England Patriots, Super Bowl champions for the fifth time. Congratulations. Nobody's better than them. Hands down. Thanks, guys. Yep. See you later.